It's one in the morning. It's crazy cold out. I'm just bundled up in my sleeping bag in a bush. This is a crazy idea. Yeah, I'm gonna look outside. This is the story of an adventure, and maybe this is the story of every adventure. A group of friends, sick of the normal and mundane, instead seek the new and the extraordinary in their own backyard. Here is that story. Walk with me, Susie Lee, through the park and by the tree. What was the process of you learning about the trip? We heard about it at school, and you basically said, let's hike High School Hill and sleep at the top, and everyone agreed because school was so boring. <laughs> Alright, Aiden, explain the plan. So you guys go whoop the whoop the whoop over the mountain, just like that. I go like boom around the mountain, Sounds like into the parking lot. You guys meet me at the parking lot. I take the stuff in my car. We go to the camping site. Then in the morning, we wake up, eat food, get dressed, um, you know, stuff like that. Then we go to the top, watch the sunrise. Nothing could possibly go not, wrong. I, not, nothing, nothing could possibly, possibly go wrong. wrong. Except for getting eaten by a bear. We did it. Everything I need. Oh, here we go. What's your name? Um, Dylan? What's your name? I'm Sid. You decided to show up? Yeah. Because you're going to hike the mountain with us. Well, I might. I'm, I'm Marcus. What's up? I'm about to go camp. <laughs> hey, hey, who are you? I'm Joel. He's Joel. I like camping. God. A two room tent. How are you going to bring that up the mountain? <laughs> oh, here comes Joel. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. Here they go. And, and there's Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> just, just How are you feeling? By themselves. They can do that. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I finished school, and then us starting the hike was very back to back to back. So um, I biked home, and then instantly packed my stuff, and was driven there, and then we <laughs> hiked up the steepest hill known to man. That's a steep one. We might need a rope to climb that one, it's pretty steep. We're going up with that? <laughs> yeah, that's a trail. Oh hey, this is great. I love it. I thought you guys were joking. But nope, you guys started going up and I followed. <laughs> it was literally like I thought I was gonna give up already. All right, wait, guys. Can you can you guys show all the snacks? <laughs> I think, like, despite the cold and the problems we had along the way, the sunset made it all worth it. It was just so rewarding seeing that at the end, and it had such beautiful colors. They're all idiots. <laughs> There's an old black train coming, scraping along the iron. You won't need no ticket, boy. It'll take Open the door for sure. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's set up lights. We this made it. Hey, how, how are you feeling about the two mile hike ahead of us? I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna steal the truck anymore. and leave. This is yeah. so comfortable. I want to go home. Yes. <laughs> no, plan, right? no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. We're leaving. <laughs> We're gonna leave you here. Go for it. Here we go. Bye. There's a sign that says the trail's closed. I just thought I should let you know. I didn't know if that was gonna be important or not. Many things in the fabric of this world are mere suggestions. 
such as the law. No, not really. Um, governmental boundaries. Uh, no. And signs. There was a big sign that said, caution flooding. And we were like, oh, it's not going to be flooded. And then we started walking and the entire trail was underwater. I think it's safe to say that that's not supposed to be there. Right after we got to the flooded campsite, <laughs> all hell broke loose. Well, um, if you're referring to my confrontation with a certain plant, I just wanted to apologize for my actions at that time. Uh, they were completely inappropriate, and I apologize for any uh, damage or mistrust I caused Talk to me like group. that? Yeah? Okay. Anyways, Aiden started fighting a tree. We're going insane. <laughs> oh my god! He's losing his mind. <laughs> Aiden, <laughs> Aiden, that's the tripod. <laughs> We're going no, back up serious. to the top of the hill because it's flooded where we tried going. We don't have to go in the morning. And we're gonna be so much more tired in the morning. So I don't know. My back was sore. My legs were sore. Everything, and I was just tired, like flat out. It was nighttime, and then you guys decide, let's go back up. And then we can sleep. And so I was like, I was about to stay back and just sleep there. Get out of the way. We can take turns carrying you. I mean, I'll do it. I'm just not confident. And there's like a super flat. But Marcus and I switched sleeping bags, so he held my difficult one, and I just held his the whole time. And we started going back up with our flashlights. <laughs> Thought we were at the plastic bag part. There's an old black train coming, scraping along the eye. Morgan, oh my god, what do you think? Oh my god, it'll take you to the sun. My backpack's gotten heavier. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we finally make it up. Yeah, and it's a lot colder than we thought it would be and a lot windier like a lot a lot windier <laughs> So I set up my awful hammock in this big bell tower and It was not very tight. So it just blew everywhere like a flag <laughs> It was not a good situation, but I do remember when I first got into the hammock and I was finally in my sleeping bag and I could finally stop moving. That was like the best feeling I've ever felt. It was so rewarding. It was the coldest night I've ever experienced. At, at first, I thought, this is awesome. I'm gonna have a great night's sleep because my sleeping bag had like a little bit of a cushion on it. So I couldn't really feel the concrete. And then in like the next 30 minutes, every one of those um, confident emotions which is absolutely blown away because I started uh, hyperventilating and I was freezing and it wasn't fun and Dylan and Marcus wouldn't cuddle me so I was alone on the concrete. I had my little two feet by two feet tent. Very windy when we got up there and it was cold. I put my little comforter inside. I huddled up in a ball in my sleeping bag and I slept like a baby because I was so nice and warm with no wind. Great. I like it. It's so warm in there. It is too. warm. It's very right. warm. It was freezing. It was really, really windy. Um, it was so pretty though. Wow. That's pretty cool. were so nice. I didn't even know this guy could be that beautiful. It's like, it made it so worth it. And, like at one point, I didn't even feel the cold. I just was like experiencing life. So, I had zero confidence in myself to get up this mountain, but I ended up doing it even though my legs were screaming like hell. But now, I'm up here, and I feel like a changed man. I slept on concrete, hurt all of my bones, but it's okay because we got to see all of this. It's so good. Look at that sun. Look at the sun. See you guys. Bye. Thanks for coming. This was awesome. This was awesome. I like it. We're 
worth it? Yeah, I would say so. It was worth it. I'm glad that I did it. At first, I didn't want to at all. Like I said, the whole thing where I was gonna check it out and just go in Amy's car. But yeah, I'm glad that I did it. It was fun. When we finally got down the mountain, I was like, Law school ended only 12 hours ago, <laughs> which just seems almost impossible. We spent a whole weekend's worth of fun in the first 12 hours of our weekend. It really like, makes you think. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel.